Welcome to our online information session for the Child Development Associate Certificate Program. My name is Claudine Campanelli and I work for the New York Early Childhood Professional Development Institute who partners with CUNY School of Professional Studies on this program. We will provide you with as much information as possible in this short presentation today and encourage you to submit questions. You'll be able to do that through the chat box. Um, if time permits, we will be answering those questions at the end of the presentation. So this, this program, which is the only comprehensive credit-bearing CDA program in New York City, consists of four courses. EDUC 200, Child Development Birth to Five Years, EDUC 201, Observing and Recording the Development of the Young Child, EDUC 202, Integrated Curriculum and Learning Environments, and EDUC 203, Family, Program, and Professional Dynamics. The program is designed for students to take courses in sequence to allow for the foundation of working with young children to be established in the first and second courses before exploring the more complex aspects of the field in the third and fourth course. Each course runs on the CUNY academic calendar, which is 15 weeks in the fall and spring semesters. The first two courses in the series may be taken simultaneously in one semester, with the remaining two courses being split between the next two semesters. Potentially, you could finish the CDA certificate in three 15-week semesters. We also provide the option to take EDUC 202 and EDUC 203 together in one semester based upon your academic performance in the first two courses. The Child Development Associate Certificate offered through the CUNY School of Professional Studies is an approved certificate program by the New York State Education Department. This differs from typical CDA programs that offer 120 hours of training. Our state approved certificate program integrates the competencies of the national CDA credential into our undergraduate early childhood courses that are taught by approved higher education faculty. We strive to recruit faculty that have degrees in early childhood education, as well as extensive experience in the field. Once students complete the four required courses and graduate from CUNY School of Professional Studies with their Child Development Associate Certificate, we have designated faculty members that work individually with each student to apply for and obtain their CDA credential from the Council for Professional Recognition. Our courses fulfill the 120 hours of formal coursework required for the CDA credential awarded by the Council for Professional Recognition. The CDA is the foundation of an early childhood educator's career. It's the most widely accepted and recognized national credential in early childhood, and it's based on the core set of competency standards. Graduates of our program receive 12 undergraduate college credits and preparation to attain the national CDA credential. Receipt of this credential can help graduates on a path towards achieving a degree in early childhood education. In order to earn the CDA credential, students must complete the required courses at the CUNY School of Professional Studies, complete supervised fieldwork observation hours, a portfolio, the 65 multiple choice question CDA exam, and a formal observation to be submitted to the Council for Professional Recognition for review. After this presentation, we will also provide you with the New York State Career Ladder document. As the Career Ladder document will show, the CDA is a key stepping stone on the path of career advancement in early childhood education, and the credit-bearing CDA will increase your career ladder another step. The competency standards guide early care and learning professionals as they work towards becoming a qualified teacher of young children. These professionals have the knowledge of how to put the CDA competency standards into practice and the understanding of how the standards help children move with success from one developmental stage to another. The CDA credential is the best first step because it is based on the knowledge of the national leading scholars in early care and learning utilizing multiple sources of evidence. The CDA is the only comprehensive system of its kind 
that recognizes the essential competencies needed by the entry level and all early childhood professionals. The CDA credentialing process is a powerful, cohesive, professional development experience infused with meaningful activities that facilitate the reflective practices of working professionals. Now, many people ask, why should we pursue the CDA? Others wonder if they should enroll in an early childhood care education program rather than the CDA. There are even some that already hold degrees in other areas um, outside of early childhood education and question why a CDA would benefit them working with young children. We always encourage a continuous path of education and professional development and recognize that students attending many degree programs in early childhood education do not always have the opportunity to experience coursework specifically in early childhood education until the final semesters. For others that are new to the early childhood education field, um, this would be an experience for them to understand and learn if this is a career path for them. For both of these situations, the CUNY CDA provides a clear framework of the knowledge, skill, and disposition required by an individual working with young children, as well as the expectations and responsibilities of the greater profession through our fieldwork component. New York City has the highest qualifications for early childhood teachers in the country. All teachers of children aged two to six years in childcare programs are required to hold a master's degree in early childhood education and the New York State birth to grade two certification and, and teachers of children birth to age two must have at least an associate's degree in early childhood or a CDA credential with the intention of obtaining an associate's in early childhood within seven years. Although the minimum requirement for assistant teachers in New York City is a high school diploma, you will find that many programs recognize that the love of children is necessary, but not sufficient to effectively work with children and families. Increasingly, we are finding directors are requiring all assistant teachers to have foundational knowledge of child development and best practice through the completion of the CDA credential prior to hiring. For those students that are interested in continuing their education after completing the CDA certificate and the credential, we have direct articulation agreements with other CUNY campuses and career service department that will assist you in transferring your credits into those degree programs. Our coursework is also appropriate for those individuals who hold childhood education degrees and need early childhood credits to fulfill certification requirements for birth to grade two extensions, as well as those seeking to renew their CDA credential. Now to discuss some of the field work requirements, you are required to complete 480 hours of experience working with children from birth to five years in group care. For infant toddler CDA endorse, endorsement, students must obtain their 480 hours through 160 hours working with our young infants, 160 hours with mobile infants, and 160 hours with the twos. Hours can be conducted at your place of employment as long as it is a licensed family child care or licensed child care center and placement by instructor if you are not currently working at a licensed center or home. You will need to have a medical exam with proof of, proof of current immunizations, DOI fingerprint clearance, and an SCR clearance before you can begin your field placement work. Throughout each course, CUNY faculty will visit you at your field place site twice to observe how you're applying the content from the coursework into your daily practice with children and families. Upon entering the program, students decide which CDA designation they would like to obtain, infant toddler, preschool, or family child care. All assignments and fieldwork will focus on this age group designation. We recognize that some students may enter our program already having experience working with young children. And this is fantastic, but it will not replace the fieldwork requirement of each course. Our model is designed to allow both the student and faculty to experience how the theory and content of the coursework is translated into practice in the classroom environment. 
If you are currently not employed in a li licensed family, ca uh, family child care or a licensed child care center, you will be required to complete your fieldwork hours as an unpaid intern. We will help you find an appropriate setting in which to complete your required 120 hours per course. For planning purposes, you should expect to spend at least eight hours a week for 15 weeks in an unpaid intern if you're taking one course a semester. This requirement will increase to 16 hours a week if you enroll in two courses a semester. Very often programs that host our interns end up hiring you as a substitute or an assistant over the course of your participation in the CDA certificate program. Each of the four college courses within the program prepare you to successfully develop a professional portfolio. The portfolio consists of a collection of early childhood resources you will develop that represents the six competency standards, 13 functional areas, and your direct work with children and families. Since our courses are for credit, your course coursework will meet the portfolio requirement but will also include additional assignments to fulfill college coursework expectations. In addition to your resource collection, your portfolio will contain six reflective statements of competency or essays that demonstrate your knowledge of understanding and application of your teaching practices within each of the six competency standards. We understand that many of our students may have been out of formal education settings for some time, or have been hesitant to enroll in college because of previous experiences. We keep class sizes small with no more than 15 students per class to maximize the individualized attention you receive and the supervised fieldwork component helps students complete the assignments in a practical way. We also have additional academic supports available. When you complete the four courses here at SPS, you are also assigned a credential advisor that works with you individually to ensure your portfolio is ready for the final assessment by the Council for Professional Recognition. Our comprehensive credentialing supports also the final observation and test preparation. Our goal is that all students are fully prepared to obtain the CDA credential upon completion of the CDA coursework here at SPS. Now I would like to introduce Jen De Palma from the CUNY School of Professional Studies. Thank you, Claudine. I would now like to talk about the application process for admission into our CDA certificate program at the CUNY School of Professional Studies. The admissions requirements are as follows. Complete an online application and pay a $70 application fee. Applicants must be 18 years of age or older and hold a high school diploma or equivalent. And you must also submit proof of a uh, high school diploma or a GED. Applicants who were educated outside of the United States must submit an official transcript in the original language from each post-secondary school or university attended in a sealed envelope and an English translation if the transcript is in a language other than English. Please follow the link on the slide for more information. You will also need to submit a personal statement as part of your application. You should include the following in your personal statement. Your educational background, your career goals, why you believe the CDA program is a good match for you, and why you're interested in the field of early childhood education. Applications for spring 2018 are due by Thursday, January 11th, 2018. You will see the link for the online application for admission at the bottom of this page. Now I would like to provide you with information about registering for CDA courses. Students are provided with a registration form after they apply and have been admitted into the CDA program at the CUNY School of Professional Studies. New students may register for classes by returning the Spring 2018 CDA registration form. New students must also return immunization paperwork. The immunization requirements can be found by following the link on this page. Because we provide students with comprehensive supports that are built into the program, we are unable to accept coursework taken outside of our program. You will see the Spring 2018 course schedule for new students on this slide. Classes are held at the CUNY School of Professional Studies located in Midtown Manhattan at 119 West 31st Street. Classes meet on Saturdays from January 27th to May 19th. 
We will also email the Spring 2018 course schedule information to everyone who is registered for this webinar. We would also like to provide you with tuition information and with information about tuition assistance that may be available to CDA students. You will notice the current tuition rates listed for either one CDA course or two CDA courses in the upcoming spring semester at the top of this page. Funding may be available through the Educational Incentive Program to support tuition and fees expenses in this program. The EIP application process requires that you complete the online web application which you can find using the link on this page. You will also receive application instructions from us to assist you in the application process. You must submit the following. Your most recent federal income tax return, Form 1040, and employment verification. Eligibility for EIP funding is based on your employment, household size, and income. The maximum scholarship for college credit is $2,000 per calendar year. It is important to note that students must reapply for EIP funding each semester. If you are interested in joining the program and you work for a New York City center-based program, we highly encourage you to apply as soon as possible as it is awarded on a first-come, first-served basis. If your program is part of Quality Stars New York, you may be eligible to access Quality Scholars dollars. In addition, a tuition payment plan is also offered to all students as an alternative in paying for education expenses. We would now like to provide you with our contact information. You will see our phone numbers and email addresses listed on this page. It is recommended that prior to applying, you contact the program's higher education coordinator, Claudine Campanelli, to ensure that the program is the right fit for your career goals in the early childhood education field. For questions about the application and registration processes, you may contact me or my colleague, Kim Enick. Please do not hesitate to contact us at any time. In the remaining time that we now have left, we would like to ask you if there are any questions that we can help answer. Hello, and this is Claudine Campanelli again, and we're reminding you that we will take any questions at this time regarding our program. We do have a question regarding tuition and how to pay for the program. We would like to stress that this is a tuition-based program through CUNY. However, there are opportunities for scholarships and grants, um, and Jen did provide you a link to support you in finding th that information. We have another question regarding observation hours or field placement work, and the question is in regards to do the hours that they have worked while they were employed prior to the course starting count? And unfortunately, all field placement observation hours must occur um, during the course of the semester. We will not be able to accept any prior work experience. And I have a question in regards to how can the credits be transferred to other universities and this is a bachelor's level course you upon graduation will have a tr full transcript that can be shared with any other university um, we do have articulation agreements with some cuny schools so that your credits can automatically transfer um, other programs you might need to meet with a transfer advisor to see how and where those um, credits can transfer into their education program we have another question in regards to completing observation hours within the place of employment and the answer is yes you are more than welcome to complete your hours um, at the center that you were employed that is not a problem as long as you are working within a facility that for the age designation that you have chosen so if you are a individual that is working in a preschool classroom and you have chosen a preschool age designation you are more than welcome to complete the, those hours at your place of employment we have a question asking if the individual can transfer credits from a prior early childhood program into the CUNY School of Professional Studies program here. And unfortunately, because this is a credentialing program, all four courses must be taken with um, CUNY School of Professional Studies for this um, certificate that we provide.
We have a question regarding how long does it take to complete the entire program? And that is really up to you in regards to how you would like to schedule your own personal time. Each semester, we offer two courses a semester, a morning session and an afternoon session. An individual can complete the program over the course of one year or two years or a year and a half. It really does depend on how much time each individual has to put towards the coursework, the field placement observations, and of course their own personal obligations outside of maybe work, school, and their personal obligations. We have a question asking to describe a typical placement for a pre-K applicant. If you currently do not work in a preschool environment, you will work with myself and we will find a child care center that is licensed that has the age designation of three to six for you to work within. We provide the contact details with that center director. And at that point, the director and yourself will meet We'll have an interview and you both will determine if that is the best site for you to complete those observation hours in. Upon placement, you'll complete the hours as per communicated with that director. So depending on how many hours each day or each week you would like to do, you coordinate that with the director. If you're typically in a three-year-old, four-year-old or five-year-old classroom, you would be assisting the teachers in that space based on a normal day for those children. You may be assisting with circle time activities, meal time, outdoor play, going for walks, and lessons. It is up to you as the teacher or as the student teacher to actually be working and collaborating with those assistant, those teachers in that space to learn how you can work with them, but also learn from them through observation. So even though we say that this is a field placement observation, you are also supposed to be interacting with the children and with the teachers in that space. So we have a question if there's any recommended certifications to take after the CDA. Um, it really depends in regards to how you see your career path. If you are taking the CDA as a stepping stone to become a um, lead teacher in a preschool setting, you would need to get your master's in early childhood and the New York State um, teaching license. So if that is the path that you would like to do, then we would then guide you through our career advisors on how to transfer our credits into a bachelor's or a master's program and then also help you with the state licensing process. So there is a question in regards to the difference between the certificate that we provide and the CDA credential and those are two different um, certificates. So upon completion of the four courses, you will receive a certificate from CUNY School of Professional Studies that you have graduated our program. This is not the national credential. The four courses and the certificate allows you at that point to take the exams for the national credential, the CDA. The credentialing exam includes the portfolio that we will be assisting you in completing, a two-hour observation within your place of employment or where you've completed your observation hours, and a written exam. Upon completion of those three requirements, you will then have the national credential, the CDA, there is a question about the CDA and the continued process. Um, and there is a fee um, to take those exams um, that is outside of the tuition that you would be paying for the certificate that you would obtain after the four university courses with us. That credentialing fee does cover the written exam and the review of your portfolio and the site visit. The credential, the CDA credential, must be renewed every three years. Well, thank you everyone for your questions. Um, this is all the time that we have left 
and we encourage you to reach out to us with any additional questions that you might have. Um, so please feel free to contact us um, using the contact information you see on this page. We thank you for your time this afternoon and we look forward to welcoming you to the CDA Certificate Program this spring.